Now, everyone wants to do a master's degree abroad or in the US specifically because it's an opportunity for them to earn well, right? So return on investment and starting salaries after various roles should be a major factor in you deciding to do a master's degree. In today's video, I'm going to list some of the most promising job roles along with their average starting salary ranges so that you understand what kind of roles and therefore what kind of degrees you can target. I am Srikar Sanaparedi. I'm the co-founder of Gradwine. Over the last six years, Gradwine has helped thousands of students with 98% of them making it to a top 50 university for their program. So here are the starting salaries for the most promising job roles in the US on the other side. To start off this video, and no prizes for guessing, I'm going to list certain job roles which are the highest paying, which are related to computer science and software related fields. You'll have to understand that software runs the world, and in the US specifically, tech companies offer the best salaries, and it is people who can code that these companies are looking for. DevOps engineers are among the highest paid professionals in the US, with average starting salaries ranging between $140,000 to $180,000. Along the same lines, computer and information research scientists are also incredibly well paid with median salaries ranging around the $130,000 mark. Software development engineers and computer network architects also earn very very well with median salaries ranging around the $120,000 a mark range. So I'm not going to go ahead and list all CS and software related job roles. There are other roles like artificial intelligence architects, information security analysts, and professionals in these roles easily see salaries upwards of $100,000, dollars What you'll have to understand that a lot of these roles are computer science and software related. And now I'm going to tell you how you can break into these roles. If you have a computer science degree in your undergrad, then it's very straightforward. You can go ahead and do a master's degree in computer science or specialize in data science or artificial intelligence or take a general CS degree and electives of your choice to break into any of these roles. That's the most straightforward and sure shot path to be earning the numbers that I mentioned earlier. Now, even if you're not a computer scientist, you don't have to worry. If you're a mechanical engineer, civil engineer, you can also break into these roles by taking degrees known as a master's in information systems, a master's in data science or a master's in business analytics. Through these degrees, you can break into these specific roles and earn the money. Additionally, if you're an electronics and communications engineering grad, you can go ahead and take a computer engineering degree, taking a lot of software heavy electives and recruiters will take you on for these roles. Understand that a core computer science is not the only way that you can be recruited into these roles. Uh, within the US, different departments and different courses are viewed positively by recruiters and therefore there is always a possibility that even if you come from a non-CS background, you can be recruited into these roles. However, don't make the mistake of applying to a straight computer science degree with a non-computer science undergrad purely to get into these roles because getting into a good university without a CS undergrad is going to be difficult in that case. All right, now all the software talk is done, right? It's out the window. You know that software and software related fields and help you earn a lot in the US, but that's not the be all and end all. Now, one of the top two or three job roles in the US, which is seeing average starting salaries between 120 to $150,000 on average is the job of a product manager. Product managers are essentially the perfect balance between tech knowledge and management skills. They communicate between management leadership and the guys on the ground who are writing this code. Because of the rise in digital products post the pandemic, there is a great demand for managers who understand what it takes to build a product from ground up and what it takes to bring it to the market so that customers adapt it seamlessly. Therefore, several companies like Apple, Amazon, Tesla and Meta, apart from hundreds of others that you may not even heard of, are hiring product managers and they're paying good money for them. In order to break into product management, your domain is immaterial pretty much. You can be an engineer from any domain and or you can be from a STEM background even if you're not an engineer. Doing the right degree to break into product management is important though and some of the best degrees that will take you into product management roles are the engineering management or the masters in information systems degree. You should also note that people from core CS backgrounds who may be recruited as software developers at an entry level do graduate into product management roles eventually. Even entry level analysts who get in from business analytics master's programs after two or three years of work experience do break into product management roles. You'll also be pleased to know that product management roles are open to freshers at some of the top companies in the world today. Okay, so what about core mechanical, civil, chemical engineers who want to stick to their core domain? Well, you guys have some great options too. Two very popular roles that are seeing excellent starting salaries 
are the role of a supply chain manager or an operations manager. Supply chain managers on an average are earning between $110,000 to $130,000 a year. Whereas operations managers see salaries around the range of $100,000 to $125,000. But this also varies depending on your work experience. If you come from a core branch of engineering such as a mechanical, civil, chemical, industrial and operations, then you can do an industrial engineering master's degree or even a master's in engineering management to break into the role of a supply chain manager and an operations manager and you'll still be earning very very well. Incredibly viable career paths for sure. A final job role which is sort of related to the software domain but is again open to engineers from a variety of different backgrounds is a very popular role that's grown in the last five or six years which is the role of a business analyst. The salary ranges for business analysts vary greatly right from $75,000 roughly to upwards of $130,000 to $140,000 in some cases. The wide variation in this range is because of the dependency of your work experience. A lot of companies recruit entry level business analysts whereas companies recruit senior business analysts with prior years of work experience who obviously will be offered a higher salary. So there you have it. In this video, I've covered several of the most promising job roles with the highest starting salaries in the USA. These jobs are in the software domain, they're in the techno managerial domain, and they're also in the non-software core domain of industrial and operations management. So based on what I've told you, you can choose which job role and which starting salary intrigues you the most, and then pick the right degree that will take you there. Of course, if you want help in getting into the best master's program that will ensure salaries like the ones that I've mentioned, you can always reach out to us at Gradwide and we'd love to help you through the process. If you like this content and found it useful, be sure to like, share and subscribe.